welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm glad to be finally back and reviewing the long-awaited and much requested from you guys, God is a Woman by Miss Ariana Grande. This is Miss Ariana Grande's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 fragrance, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. I, I overcounted 10. Um, this is her 10th fragrance, and she went for a more natural, um, like plant based theme this time. And not only is it plant based and natural theme, it is 91% um, naturally derived clean ingredients, vegan, 100% cruelty free. Um, it is made from this part of the fragrance, just like Grace the cover, is made from 60% plant based material um, and a sustainable material. So they, like, the you Sustainable, sustainable meaning you plant to re, you know keep it going, and the box is also a recycled carton. Um, and then on the inside here, it does have a little note um, about how Ariana's fragrances are going to be going more natural, and it's something that they would like to, to notice as they go in the future. Um, I did see online somewhere that people were talking about how like how is this a natural fragrance when the ingredients are the same as all her other fragrances on the bottom of the box? And something I don't think a lot of people realize is that. That fragrance or parfum, when it's listed as an ingredient on anything, not just perfume, but like anything, like food, lotion, anything, um, it is a, it's like a loophole that the FDA has that basically, um, there's a certain level of toxic ingredients that you're allowed to have in, um, things as long as it's under a certain amount of levels and if it's if you claim that it's something that you need to make your per your product smell a certain way it can be labeled under fragrance or perfume um so a lot of the fragrance and perfume industry has been kind of sh in the shadows of what is used um and it's not always the best ingredient so it's glad to know that ariana's team is going for something more plant-based and natural and being more transparent about we are using natural and sustainable ingredients in our fragrances not just now but going forward um and the way that that little note was read it did sound like maybe they were going to be doing it um with some of her older fragrances so we might be getting more natural releases of some of her previous ones as well so um one other thing that I did see online about this is a lot of people being kind of upset about the name being God is a Woman, um, as it being, like, satirical and, like, against God and some stuff like that. I can see it. First things first, in the Bible, it really doesn't say, you know, one way or the other. It is just labeled that God is a man because men are considered superior, even though it's bullshit because women are the ones who bring us into this world and mother nature. So... For all we can be concerned, Mother Nature, God is a woman. It's really not that serious. I saw, like, this whole Facebook post about people, like, literally, like, calling into Ulta and complaining about the fact that this fragrance is called God is a woman, and they're promoting it on the front page of their, like, ad. And I'm, like, seriously, people, it's not that serious. If you have that big of an issue for something like that, please use your time and energy to things like the people starving in Africa or other really bad important things going on in our world right now not saying that if you feel that way that your feelings are invalid i'm just saying it's a fragrance it's really not that serious calm down if you want to be upset about something you should maybe go watch the music video because there's just a little bit more to be upset about in the music video than there is about a fragrance called god is a woman that is naturally just naturally derived so anyway the bottle looks like this this time it's a completely brand new design and everything from miss ariana i know that some people were upset um i saw about these little dots in there it's a plant-based material you should like that because it shows that it's unique and it shows that it is like actually what they say it is um as you guys noticed my bottle is kind of frosted because it is cold in this room that's the point of my fragrance room it does uh slide out of here in here only thing i do not like is i do not like this white cap um i wish it was tinted more gray like this or it was plant-based itself i don't know if they couldn't do that um to get it to snap on i'm not sure but i just don't like that contrast at all um it does say if i can get my camera to focus hi focus on the bottle not my face thank you and it's on this side there it is it does say ariana grande on the side here and then also on the bottle it says ariana grande 
So yes. Um, the fragrance notes this time are Ambrette Seed and Pear in the top. Middle notes are Iris and Turkish Rose with, middle, with base notes of Bourbon Vanilla and Cedarwood. Um, so I actually really, really like this. It is way lighter than I thought it was. Like, when initially thinking this, did not think it was going to be as light as it is. I do really, really like this fragrance. I just, it is very, very light. Um, something really quick I want to pop in here. So, I'm going to say what I think this fragrance smells like before we get into the actual, like, review, review of it. Um, because I'm going to insert a first impression clip. So, as some of you guys may know, some of you may not know, um, I went to California and I like a little bit ago, and that's how when I got this fragrance. Um, my best friend in the entire world lives out there. His name is John, and um, we went out there to go visit him for a couple days. We went to Disneyland in San Diego, and we had a whole bunch of fun. It was a great time. Um, we went out there last year as well, and we um, did a first impression, him and I together. It got cut off, so my battery died on the camera, um, but whatever. So I'm going to pop that in here for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy that. Um, but I think this fragrance smells a lot like Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. Um, and I don't mean that in like the top of it, like at all. Um, I'm not in like the berries, but something in the dry down of this smells very natural and very like tea-like and, um, just very, very reminiscent to me of Wonderstruck. I can't get that out of my brain for some reason. I'm just like, it smells like Wonderstruck. So you'll see that in the first impression. Also, I look way tatted in the first in this first impression video. Like, I didn't realize that. I think mostly because I'm reviewing for you guys, I'm mostly either in a hoodie or something else because this room is cold. But like, you can really see my tattoo here. I got it fixed. Um, in right after the, we filmed this, um, so it's a little bit brighter now, but you can see it kind of peeking out, and you can see my tattoos on my arms and stuff, so it just, it's weird to me because, like, I don't ever really come off that way, and I'm also not wearing a hat to you guys, so, um, also if you guys notice, John has the matching tattoo that I have, see if you guys can spot that, but, uh, here's the first impression video for you guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so hi guys, um, Future Me has already inserted the new clip of us doing the first impression, but I'm here in sunny Los Angeles, California, with my beautiful best friend, Jonathan. Hi. Um, John has nice been watching you. me for a very long time, um, and then we just became friends through him commenting on my videos and whatnot, and now we're literally fucking inseparable. Um, I mean, we have matching tattoos. Yeah, matching it, tattoos. It's a thing. But, so anyway, we're so I decided to come visit him in his home, and we're gonna have a fun-filled weekend. And this bitch went out and bought this just so we could first impression it for you guys here. This is, I think, the second ever time I've ever first impressioned something, but like the first time with the guests, so this will be really interesting. special. Um, avoiding spoilers for this from you guys has been fucking terrible. It's true. Um, I have been having just to dodge bullets and being like, do not tell me anything, anyone. I need to have like complete first impressions. I've avoided several of my favorite people on Instagram with like full reviews of this and some videos on YouTube that I wanted to watch because they were gonna review this. And I just have watched it. To show you guys full first impression, we didn't like we kept it sealed just just for you guys. So here is our first impression, I guess. I'm so excited. Now John doesn't have like a super well burst of the Ariana line, like he knows it. It's but it's like Ari and that's it. He has Ari and you have a, like a little thing of thank you next. A little thing of thank you next. But other than that, nothing. Um, the box is like recycled. Oh, Not that like it's a first impression on the box, but hey. Um, Anything that can help is for the whole planet of ours. I know that like the, like the whole thing with this fragrance is it is vegan and like cruelty free and future me has already explained all this, so we don't need to go over that again. But anyway. Oh, it's totally let's, not hot tonight. Yeah, surprisingly. So like I came from my house to his house and it's like a 20 degree difference and it's not on my uh, on his side, it's on my side, mm -hmm. which is Iowa to California, you would think so. But hey, here's the bottle. Um, very like, Can I touch that? yeah, go for it. Very earthy, like it's a lot more earthy than I was thinking it was going to be. It's beautiful. But I do like that the glass is purple <sighs> and it comes out again. I cannot wait. Yes, okay. So actual, like, all this doesn't matter. This is the part that we have to care about, no, like, we're really what excited. it smells like. So, give it a couple tester sprays out there. 
I'll spray it there. I will let John spray it where he wants to. I know I don't have anything on this arm. Wait, I don't know what I'm selling. Hold on. Do you need more? Yes. I think I need more too. I'm not gonna say what like instantly came to my mind. First, like first initial whip, I could be like batshit crazy. Wonder Shrug. Do you get Wonder Shrug? Like Hintley? It's very light. What's the word called where you don't smell it? Like, no, am I? As an argument, as an Like, am I not smelling anything? As an argument. People at home are like freaking out probably because I can't figure out how to say this word. Ooh, yeah, I like it. I feel like it is very. I wasn't expecting whatever it is. No, it's way lighter than I was expecting. Uh huh. I was kind of thinking like. La Vida Bell. Lux Rush. I kind of really like this. Like a lot. I'm getting. Really strong. Like, the, it's not strong in any way, shape, or form. Like, it's very it's like. It's like, like, what it reminds me of. But that's okay. That reminds me of the same. It smells great. Yeah. Like it's I Okay, so there was the first impression. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So we're gonna go ahead and pop into the review of this fragrance if I remember how to do that. So the top notes, like I said, were the ambrette seed and the pear, middle notes are the iris and the rose, with base notes of bourbon vanilla and cedar wood. Can we find a sprayer in this room? No we can't. Oh um I know I have one. Hold on. So you would think after doing this for almost 10 years on YouTube, I would come prepared. But I don't. We're back. Okay. So, like I said, top notes, and red seed, pear, middle notes, iris, and rose. Base notes are cedar wood and bourbon vanilla. So, when you first spray it, you do get a little bit of an alcohol-y scent. But you do get like the ambrette seed and the pear. The pear being very, very, very prominent when you first open this fragrance. Um, but the whole fragrance is very natural. Um, I don't want that to be misconstrued in any way. Like I don't want you to think it's earthy or anything like that. Because it does have like an earthy edge to it. Um, but it's very like soft and pretty and light and really light, like way lighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, but the ambrette seed and the pear is a very popular combination and it does smell like some other stuff out there. Um, but like I said, to me, this smells a lot like Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck, just like the dry down of it, just kind of that base of it. It's not as heavy. Wonderstruck definitely does have a heavier edge to it, but um, this just, to me, smells a lot like Wonderstruck. As it dries down, you get into the, the iris and the rose, and it's a little bit there. Um, but honestly, this fragrance is pretty linear. So, like, the top is a little bit, like, crisper and a little bit, like, brighter than the rest of the fragrance. But it does kind of natural out to kind of a very, to me, tea-based fragrance. It smells very tea-like, even though tea isn't listed as a note. Um, I just kind of get this tea-like edge from it. I do really, really like it. It isn't my favorite Ariana Grande fragrance, but I would definitely say it's probably top three. Um, I do wish it lasted a lot longer than it does, but it is what it is. I mean, for it being a natural fragrance, I can see how they did that. I know there are some other like completely natural base, um, natural fragrance based companies like Clean and stuff like that, that, um, I don't own any other fragrances, but I do know that they're a little bit more natural at times, and um, they can do heavier fragrances, so it's not like just because it's a natural fragrance you can't be heavier. Um, I think she just went a little bit safer with this. I'd like to see how, um, maybe how it's re received by her fans and whatnot, um, and kind of go from there. So, the thing with it being lighter, though, it does, it does stay pretty close to the skin. It doesn't last amazing. I get about five hours on a good day, um, but it does stay pretty close to the skin it is pretty um like when you're in the car with someone you could be like oh that's pretty like when we were out there um i wore it a couple times and john's like what are you wearing and i was like got his woman he goes yeah it's like he could smell it like it wasn't like indistinguishable but also it wasn't like hi i'm here so there you guys go. There is my review of God is a Woman by Miss Ariana Grande. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.